Welcome to PO Sports Talk. I'm Ed Gottlow along with Joel right here. Since the snow has already fallen, I guess you can tell it must be basketball season, although there are still 16 teams in Pennsylvania that are playing football games this, this weekend in the uh, PAAA semifinals. And just as a side note, two of the teams in the, in the Quad A semifinals, Cumberland Valley and State College, both played Chambersburg, and Chambersburg had a lead on them this year. <laughs> but they didn't beat them, but they had a lead. Moving on up in the world. Yeah, okay. Now let's go back to hoops, I guess. Uh, Joel, which boys' teams do you see making any noise this year? Um, a lot of no-name teams this year are going to have to wait and see. I'd say Chambersburg has the best shot right now. Returns six of their top seven scorers. Uh, JB has two pieces back and a couple uh, part-time players from last year that look promising. But other than that, I mean, the Simon Hill teams, I guess I should mention that as well. Fan at Metal, Southern Fulton, the Forbes Road. But uh, as far as mid-10 teams are concerned, it could be a... You know, a battle of teams that, you know, we really don't know much about right now. I know Schiffersburg lost almost everybody. They've got a new coach in Darren Schaefer. I know he told me earlier that they could be the most improved team at the end of the year because he just thinks they're going to – they have some athletes, but you know, just have to learn to work together and learn a new coach. Yeah, Waynesboro said that, you know, that they're having to take it so slow because normally he had kids that were could pick it up right away and have been in the program. And uh, Greencastle is kind of the same way. They have some pieces back, but they're not – solidified with Demetri Scott and Jordan Gemby and Jaron Gemby. Yeah. Tight players. Okay. I was, was joking with the uh, Wayne for wrestling coach last night. His son is Jesse Mallon, who's like 6'4". And he was just messing around before wrestling practice. They did like an alley-oop dunk from one of the basketball players. <laughs> yeah, just, I'm sure uh, Tom Hoff would love to have him out there. Seriously. <laughs> okay. Uh, you mentioned Chambersburg. Um, I, I guess they probably have as many people back as anybody in the whole area this year, right? Yeah, I think they had six of their top seven scores back and a few other kids sprinkled in. And they got two transfers, uh, Nick Bunning and Tyler Larson, that look promising as well from C.B. Christian. Okay. And the Trojans open Monday at home against Waynesboro. So that will be the first boys game in the new gym. Uh, then we'll switch over to girls. Um, any storylines there you see for this year, Joel? It's almost a repeat. The mid pen has, like, I think they added about maybe six returning starters out of those four area teams. Ship, Waynesboro, Greencastle, and JB. Five of them are at JB, so that tells you what everybody else has. <laughs> I think Waynesboro has Danny Miller back, and Ship and Greencastle have none. Yeah. So, well, bare bones. The thing we're all kind of interested in seeing about Shippensburg is that the girls they have that are sophomores now haven't lost in three years. And the, and the coach who's been with them the whole time, Megan Carr, has stepped in to take over the head job. Right. So they, they may not... You know, be invincible this year, but I think everyone expects a lot of them before they're done. Sure. And how about the uh, Chambersburg girls? Uh, new co- I, I, I'm asking you, but I did the preview. So Seriously. I, can, uh, I would just say uh, Jay Flory and Jen Hamilton are two nice pieces, but I don't think they're going to be able to take that next step in the division quite yet, just knowing how tough the league will be again this year. Yeah, I think they're definitely going to be improved. They'll, they'll win some more games, but with that league, you just never know. Okay, any other girls' uh, information you want to Elise Can Dickerson is playing basketball in the Collinsburg. I want to see how she does. She's 5'11", and she hasn't played since 8th grade, but she's a heck of an athlete on the volleyball court, so I'm hoping maybe uh, that there's a story there. Yeah, I'm sure Dave Garner was excited when she said she was coming out. Right. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching PO Sports Talk. See you next week.